Walter Badgett's concept of the mask of command refers to the necessity for leaders to project an aura of authority and decisiveness, decision. And that's really what the oath of allegiance to the king, it's what, it's what the state opening of parliament is all about. This is the mask of command. In his work, The English Constitution, Badgett argues that effective leadership requires a certain degree of mystique and control which helps maintain order and respect uh, from the people. He believed that without this mask, leaders would find themselves constantly needing to justify their actions and their decisions, which leads to a loss of authority and endless explanations about why somebody is doing something and why they think they have the power to do it. Badgett writes... Above all things, our royalty is to be reverenced. And if you begin to poke about it, you cannot reverence it. Its mystery is its life. We must not let the daylight in upon magic. And that, of course, is exactly what television has done. Here he highlights the importance of maintaining a certain mystique, an aura, a magic around leadership to preserve its authority and its effectiveness. It is not efficacious if... It is uh, exposed. Critiques of Badgett's ideas argue that this approach can lead to an undemocratic and opaque form of governance, but all um, governance in all countries is ultimately undemocratic. We have granted power to somebody who wields it in our name. They suggest the mask of command might prevent accountability and transparency, which are crucial for a healthy democratic society. For example, some modern political theorists contend that Badgett's views could encourage leaders to obscure the truth and manipulate perceptions to maintain control. You only have to look across to the United States to see that the presidential system is as wobbly and as uncertain as our monarchical system. We, we simply have a formula, and to tamper with that formula is not necessarily to get a better formula. And I think back to the changes which were effected in the Catholic Church in the 1960s. They didn't necessarily produce a better system. What they produced was chaos for about 40 years. Now, are we in a better state? I don't think so. We're in a different state. But difference doesn't necessarily mean better. What we need to do is to make the system that we've got work more effectively in the new age. Uh, Badgett's insights into the nature of leadership and authority remain influential and he posits ideas that leaders must establish authority in order to avoid the pitfalls of constant justification and the erosion of their control. That establishment of authority is about the theatrical display of authority as well as the enticement of um, the people through, through the media. And arguably the... The distractions in the royal family at the moment do not encourage the impression of authority, and that is the problem. And Prince William needs to um, make it up with his brother. It's a fundamental necessity. It's not about the uh, royal family as a soap opera. It's about the royal family as the embodiment of this this mystique uh, of this mask of control it's about putting on the mask when you go into a greek play or if you were to go into a greek play go back uh six thousand years um and uh and and, and stand in um, and put on the mask of apollo to use a sort of mary reno image then then you you put on the, the character that you portray and you speak through the mask. Still you. Uh, and there is no doubt that you are wearing a costume. There is no doubt that you are, that, that the facade is not, is, 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 is not you, but you become the facade. You come, you, you come up to the, you, 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 you come up to the demands of the role 
And the role is there. And the present members of the present royal family are failing in that demand, just as members of the last government failed in that demand. Um, it's like somebody coming out of the lavatory with their skirt tucked in to their knickers. Um, somebody coming out of the lavatory with his flies undone. And it's funny. It's funny, and particularly the more the more authority somebody claims, the funnier it is to find their humanity exposed in such a way. And, and that is the problem. That is the problem. And it's not that we must mask our humanity, it's that we must make our humanity serve the mask that we are wearing. This idea underscores the delicate balance between maintaining authority and ensuring transparency and accountability in governance. But part of it is that we are all engaged in wanting that mask to work. The willing suspension of disbelief because it's about theatre and because it's about fiction and because it's not about truth. Truth is an ambient concept. Everybody talks about truth as if it's something very important. Actually, what we want is authenticity and responsibility. Truth is about your relationship with God. It's a secondary, it's a secondary issue. Yes, I'd much prefer people to tell me the truth. But equally, as Plato said, the, uh, the, the, the noble lie um, must be fed to must be fed to people. I don't think it must be, but I think the lie, if it's uh, if it's effective, is perfectly believable. I would much rather believe in Santa Claus or Mary Poppins than to be told that everything is going to be going to hell in a handcart. And I don't think everything does need to go to hell in a handcart. I think. With effort, we can turn things round. And that requires authenticity. It requires our believing in the mask of authority. It's, it, it, it requires uh, in the mask of command. It requires our, our participation in that theatre. And it requires on the part of the government an undertaking to deliver. So it's authenticity and delivery. And Badgett's theories provide a framework for understanding the complexities of leadership and the importance of authority. But they also invite a, criti a critical examination of how these concepts can be reconciled with democratic values and the need for open governance. And... The, it, it, it is the failure of authenticity. It's the failure of that relationship between the people and the um, authorities where things go wrong. And it's that, that, that is the failure that could be identified by Boris Johnson. That is the failure that we would identify with Liz Truss. Not, not truth, particularly, though that's what, um, that's what newspapers write about, <laughs> truth. Um, because newspapers want a shorthand, and they don't really want to do the real work of labouring to find out what is the problem. The problem is not um, that Boris Johnson lied. The problem is the parties took place. Isn't it? It's not his lie. That that is where he's caught. That is where he's caught, and he lies, and it, because that's what he's done all his life. The lie is not what, the, the lie is not the important thing. It's that his authenticity, the authentic Boris, is not the person who can wear that mask of command. The authentic Boris is weak. That is the problem. <laughs>